The next chart we will use is a pie chart and although this is a highly criticized uh, chart uh, we will introduce it uh, during this uh, pivot table course. If you are interested in the uh, criticism of this uh, chart have a look at the data visualization and dashboard design course where I uh, describe step by step what are the good practices of data visualization. In here we will just break or a bit bend the rule and in insert the uh, chart where we will analyze sales by product subcategory. Uh, when analyzing these uh, sales, you always need to sort the data. Uh, let's just format the number to have a better understanding what's happening below. And uh, if you insert a pie chart on this, it will be really cluttered and this is not the best practice we have. But in one of the exercises, we got to know the uh, grouping operation. So after sorting the data, you can always think of grouping your elements, for example, to just have a top five group and all the other elements that can be further grouped into a new group, which is called the others. Right now, we didn't improve the chart very much, but if you collapse the others group, you will see we are close to that. Whenever you use a pie chart, there are a few practices to be followed. Like for example, you don't need the legend, we don't need the buttons in here uh, too. And it's better to introduce a fully descriptive data labels. In our case, we want to format them to show us the category name as well as the percentage maybe without the value this time. And uh, we'll place them in the outside end. This is one of the techniques uh, to better uh, highlight the information you have in there. Uh, the other technique that you can find is try to avoid overusing the color. So I will just change the colors to something monochromatic that will be enough for this scenario.